Hello dear students, this is Obaid Wali, your English teacher. I welcome you all to my today's online class. This is my first appearance before you. So today we will discuss uh, report writing and we will also uh, discuss about uh, your uh, what's there in your English same paper syllabus. So I hope that you are well and staying safe in these difficult times of corona and staying at home so in your uh, English same paper there will be grammatical items 12 grammatical items and uh, four writing items total marks is 160 plus 40 100 so in your grammatical parts there will be 12 components these are articles prepositions completing sentences special use of words right forms of verbs then there is narration and the passage narration transformation of sentences pronoun references modifiers sentence connectors synonym and antonyms and punctuation so uh, among these 12 items you have uh, studied some of these items in your SSC level then the in your writing part there you see four items will be covered the email and or application eight marks then there is a report writing eight marks paragraph writing 10 marks short composition 14 marks in total 40 and uh, 60 in grammar items 100 in total so in report writing it is found that uh, students uh, are more or less negligent uh, in writing parts they think that they can get the pass marks in uh, grammatical parts and that is enough so yeah, it is found in here yeah, their scripts that they get two or three or four out of eight in their writing uh, in a report writing section so I think uh, you should pay more attention in your report writing so this is the mm, uh, this is an example of report we usually find in um, web portal or in a newspaper 10 killed as train hits microbus this is uh, very usual uh, in our day-to-day -day life we come across such reports so in your exam the question will be like this suppose you are the district correspondence correspondent of a national news daily published from Dhaka you have just covered a road accident in your uh, area write a report of about 120 words give a title to your report so in your uh, exam you will have to write a report for newspaper and you have to consider yourself as a correspondent so first see what is a report a report is a document that presents information in an organized format for a specific audience and purpose so there is uh, an audience for you and you are writing for a purpose and it is clear that it is a formal writing not any informal writing which you are writing to your friends or uh, relatives and report writing is basically uh, needed for newspaper reporters business organizations and executives but in your exam uh, naturally uh, usually uh, 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 report for newspapers is required so what we see in our experience that students are a uh, mismatch between a uh, paragraph and a report and they usually write from their memory what they studied for a paragraph so this causes a catastrophe in their marking they get poor marks so students should be careful should be careful about uh, uh, report writing and in our today's class I am going to tell you how to write a report which will carry better marks now steps in report writing think 
about a suitable title and subtitle. In most cases, I have found that uh, students forget to give a title. And it is better if you uh, give a title and the subtitle. In a uh, real life newspaper, you'll see that the both the uh, things are given in a report. Both title and subtitles are used there. So, yeah, uh, the moment you get the topic, you first think about your title. What should be title? What is oh, what words can be used for a title? So, keep that in mind. Why? So that your title is attractive and a catchy one. Then jot down ideas and information then do a rough work uh, in the last page of your uh, uh, khata that uh, where you make make um, ideas that comes to your mind just you put the ideas in a khata no serial is uh, required to maintain uh, uh, to maintain so just you put down your ideas and uh, relevant information then you make a draft after that you revise that draft in your uh, revision part some faults that comes to your uh, uh, the, that arises you revise that uh, revise those faults and finally you come up with the, the final so there are various steps and you'll have to do all these steps in a uh, quick manner because uh, there's time constraint in your exam. Then we see the let's uh, see the what are the parts main parts of a report. The first one is the title, and in some cases subtitles. Then you have to write the um, uh, stuff of the special correspondent then place a date and place for example i have given it there in bracket you see stuff correspondent comma 15 march comma zero. place and date also comes with the stuff correspondent and the fourth part is the content in uh, usual uh, newspaper reports we see that there are two parts in uh, two paras in uh, content the first one is the summary one or two sentences used for summary and in the next para the detailed report is presented so better to use these uh, two paras in your report and don't uh, you don't need to write two many things in your report so that it becomes it becomes two or three pages so uh, better to limit it within one page also depends on your handwriting now i will discuss in brief about how to uh, write a title for your report while writing your uh, uh, title keep in mind that it should be concise it should be short not too detailed not too long sentence you can't use long sentences in your title then there is uh, Mm, uh, mm, complete sentence you don't need to write complete sentences just fragments or phrases write it in phrases for example uh, i've given here one person was found dead in wrong group. if you write it if you make it concise how can you do it you can write numerically one one person there you see one person found dead in Rongpu. One person found dead in Rongpu. Here you avoid auxiliary verbs or articles, prepositions, etc. Then there is uh, you use acronyms. For example, Dhaka University. You write DU for Dhaka University, PN for Prime Minister. You should make it concise as much as you can so this is the uh, some tools for writing your title and you have to keep in mind while you are writing your title then we see some do's and do's